I think everyone who's familiar with the project will know that in December of last year, uh, the province uh, stopped the environmental assessment process so that we could review a pro this project. This is a project that began, uh, had its earliest, uh, I guess, origins or beginnings uh, more than a decade ago. Um, and there's a, some very, uh, very hard work that both the Ministry of Transportation and our municipal partners have put into the process. Um, but I would be the first one to tell you, if you look around the world at transportation and how transportation is evolving and being disrupted, uh, that the world that, we, the, the world we deal with today is dramatically different from what it looked like 10 years ago. And I suspect it'll be dramatically different 10 years from now. Uh, and I can, I can point to dozens of examples, whether it's driverless vehicles, automated connected vehicles, whether it's the advent of low and zero carbon emitting vehicles, whether we're talking about on-demand transportation, whether we're talking about the extent to which the millennial generation and that which comes after millennials will actually, uh, will actually be uh, focusing or looking at car ownership and driver's licenses the same way that I did, the same way that my parents did. These are, these are all very significant, significant questions. As a result of the fact that we had those questions, still have those questions, when we paused the environmental assessment, uh, we created, a, I'll call it a panel or an internal working group to review the project, to take a look at it all the way back to its origins from a decade or more ago. Um, that working group or that panel hasn't provided me or our government with a final report. I expect to have that report, I'll say, in the next couple of months. Um, once we have that report, the government will take a look at it and we'll make a decision and provide an update uh, as soon as we're able to. Thank you.